Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Jira Cloud tutorial, we will learn how to add a user story in Jira. Now, we have already understood about the project types that we have been working through. So most of the time during the course of this tutorial, we will be working either with a classic Scrum or Kanban project or next gen Scrum or Kanban project. So what I have done here is I have created all four types of project and whatever tutorial I'll be making, I'll be making or I'll be explaining how you can go ahead and add user story in each of these type of project. Uh, so it doesn't matter which type of project you are using in your organization, you will be able to navigate through within Jira Cloud and add the user stories. Now, as we have already understood in the previous tutorial of adding the epic, I have explained you the basic, you know, um, the structure or, or what all the default issue type comes in the Jira when you create a Scrum project. So when you create a Scrum project uh, with the classic template, you get these five issue types out of the box when you create the project. So you have the epic task, story, bug and subtask. Now in the previous tutorial, we have understood how you can add epic in a Jira project. Now we'll understand how we can add stories in Jira. Now we have already also understood in the previous tutorial, the hierarchy basically. So Epic is a large piece of work item that might span across multiple iterations. So Epic can have multiple stories within it, or you can have tasks or bugs within an Epic. So if we see the uh, overall, you know, structure, so Epic can have multiple stories. So we'll create a story within an Epic. Uh, and then, you know, we'll, we can have the subtask within a task or story or bug. So that's how the overall hierarchy looks like. So here I have created a sample uh, user stories, couple of user stories. So user stories, if you want to get into more detail how the user stories are written, you can visit uh, Google and search for the user story creation. So there are a lot of websites. Uh, wherein you can go through and find the format of the user story. So it's nothing but you can compare it with the requirement in the traditional approaches, uh, which is defined in the form of end user, how the end user is going to interact with the system. So for example, in this case, uh, portal registration could be one of the epic, right? So uh, say, for example, I'm uh, launching an e-commerce portal uh, where the person should have the capability or the buyer should have capability to um, you know, register into the portal. So that that could be one of the features. So portal registration can be epic and within that epic there can be multiple user stories. So for example, as a buyer, I would like to register using Google account so that I can log into e-commerce commerce portal successfully, right? So this is a, a sample format of user stories, how the user stories are basically written with the persona. So buyer is a persona and then what uh, he wants to do in the application so there is some outcome so that there is some outcome right so let's go ahead and add these user stories so what i'll do is i'll open um, one of the let's start with the classic scrum project first so in the classic scrum project if you go to the project uh, to add a user story you simply have to click on this create button so creating any issue type in jira is the same process you simply have to click on create button and then select the particular issue type that you want to create so if you want to create epic you select epic if you want to create story you select story so in this case we'll select the story and then we will add the summary okay so let me uh, you know add a summary so this will go into the description so i'll add the description and in the summary what i'll say is um, buyer registration with Google account, right? So I'll simply say with Google account and then you add the description so you can add as much description as you can. So usually a, st a story will have the acceptance criteria as well, which defines what all needs to be implemented in the user story. Uh, or when the user story can be, uh, you know, considered as accepted. Okay, so the acceptance criteria will be uh, something like 
uh, I should be or user should be able to uh, click on the register link successfully uh, register uh, when he clicks on register link the register option or register window or modal should open right so these are some of the uh, criteria that can be defined within the user stories and acceptance criteria are defined with with the numbering so acceptance criteria one acceptance criteria two so that's how usually it works in the actual project right and based on these user stories and acceptance criteria defined on these user stories developers work on their part of it and once the development is completed testers uh, refer to the same stories uh, within that sprint to write their test cases to automate the scenarios within the sprint so that they can fulfill or they can verify the acceptance criteria that are defined for this particular user stories so we'll define the description here then you have the option for a reporter linked issues etc so a lot of other fields in the form that are available so you can change the assignee so whosoever needs to work on this particular story you can change the assignee to it uh, if this particular story is linked to any other uh, story say for example this uh, relates to or this particular story blocks something then you can link that particular issue so for example this story needs to be completed before any other story can start so you can say this story or this link uh, this issue blocks the other issue which needs to start after this particular story will finish right then you have uh, the epic link here so if for example this story is related to this particular epic right so portal registration epic then we can simply uh, link that particular epic from this epic link and if you want to work on this particular story within this sprint then you select the sprint whichever sprint this story uh, needs to be worked into you can select the sprint from here here at the top you will see that you have the configure fields option available so you can choose what all fields are available for you on this particular page so if you select custom and say for example i don't want the linked issues or labels i can just select the custom and i can disable the components or the fields that i do not want to see on this particular form okay and those fields will be hidden um, so that is configurable you can configure yourself as of now i'll just make it to all so all fields are visible now this is what all you need to do to create a user story if you want to create or add one more story simply check this box create another and then click on create button okay so when you click on create another this window will still be open and you can add another story and that user story so by registration with google account has been added successfully all right so as of now i'll cancel this so you will see that by registration with google account has been created successfully in the backlog all right so this is how you will create a user story in the classic scrum project now in the classic scrum project you have these epics as well now there is another option so for example there is an epic and let me create an epic which is portal registration and then i'll show you how you can create user stories within that epic okay let me put the same summary as of now and click on create so you can see that portal registration epic has been created now within this epic i can you know either click on create to create a story and then link to that particular epic so this epic is rt17 so i can simply say rt17 and link the story to it or i can directly create a story within this epic so i can click on create issue in epic and it will open the same create issue page and by default if i will you know click on create issue from the epic you will see that portal registration epic link will be chosen by default all right so this is another way to create a story within the epic so this is all about creating the user story in the classic scrum project now if we go to the other type of project the process will be exactly similar so there won't be much difference the only difference will be something around the navigation so for example if i go to classic kanban then in classic kanban i'll still see the same create button 
and I can click on the create and I can select the issue type as story and rest all remains exactly same. You will have the configure fields uh, to select or deselect or hide the fields that you don't want to see on this particular uh, you know, window. And then if you want to add the user story from the epic, so you can uh, create an epic in the Kanban project. So for example, let me uh, create an issue on this board. So let me create the same epic here. So I can show you how you can add the story within the epic, right? Let me quickly create this epic. Now this epic got created. Let me open this epic. I can go to this epic, right? Uh, detail here. And if you see this little icon, you can either uh, click on this click issue in an epic from here and it will open issues in this epic option here. And you select the type as story and within the story, I will simply copy the details of the story and paste and create the story. Now you can see that this epic has one story. If you want to open the details of this epic, oh, you can open it and within the epic, you will see that this uh, story has been created in this particular epic. If you want to add more, you can simply click on click issue in this epic in the epic detail as well. So this is how you will create user stories in the classic Kanban project. Now going back to the next gen Kanban. Okay, so if I click on next gen Kanban and click on create uh, button here, uh, you won't see the story option by default here in the next gen Kanban. Okay, so to enable story option, uh, you can simply go to the project settings if you are the project administrator go to the project settings and from the project settings go to issue type and here you can see you can add the issue type right so i can add the story and then i can also add bug to this particular project right so now i can see the story type when i click on create i would be able to see the story to add the story in the next gen Kanban project, right? So by default, when you create a next gen Kanban project, you won't be seeing these issue type by default, right? Now going back to the next gen Scrum project, the process will be exactly same. You click on the create button, select the issue type as story, provide the summary description and all other details in this particular form and click on create. If you want to create from the backlog, go to the backlog, uh, go to the epic detail, open the epic details, right? So you open the detail of the epic and from the epic, you click on this child issue uh, icon and you can add the type as story, task or bug, whatever, provide the detail and click on create button, right? So a roadmap is also another option where you can go to the epic and simply click on, you know, say for example, you have an epic here, you click on this plus icon here and select the type as story and add the story from the roadmap itself, right? So next gen scrum will have multiple options. So either from the create button, from the roadmap, from the backlog, right? So there are multiple ways to basically add the story into different type of projects in Jira. So we have covered how you can add user stories in Jira cloud, which has a different type of project. So Scrum, Kanban, and even in Scrum Kanban, there are two different type of project, classic and next gen project supported. So next gen project is the new concept that has been launched in Jira cloud, uh, which is basically which enables anyone to create the project quickly. And uh, there, there are limited customization options in next gen project, but classic is very similar to what we have seen in the uh, server version of the Jira. So that's all for this tutorial, how to add user stories in Jira projects. Hope you like it. Please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching.